Welcome back YouTube. Today, what I'm going to be doing in this video with my Camaro is I'm going to actually make the rear brakes work. And what I mean by that is um, if you've done any kind of breeding or driven these cars for a long period of time, you'll notice that there's a lot of bias towards the front brakes. And when I say a lot, I really mean there is a lot. Uh, there's been some people that have jacked up the back of the car and hit the brakes and the back tires will keep spinning even though the car is in drive. So the rears don't do a whole lot. And what you can do is come in here, get to your proportioning valve. You can completely change this out and get an adjusting one if you want to pay the money for that. But a really, really cheap alternative is to take the spring out of the inside of here, which creates pressure to send to the rear brakes and basically get a spring that is the exact same size and just has a higher compression so it's a lot stiffer than what's normally in there. Um, the two springs that most people will put in here are either a 19 pound or a 22 pound and from what I've read 19 pound works much better somewhere around 30 percent better than what is currently being done and 22 is really, really good, but some people get their rears locked up before their fronts. So if you do use a 22 pound, I'd suggest that you have aftermarket front brakes. A lot of people will put uh, LS1 brakes in the front or some other kind of brake system in the front. If you do have that, then I'd suggest the 22. If you just have the stock or something cheap like I do up front, then I'd suggest the 19. So this is actually a really simple and cheap upgrade. All you have to do is come up front and twist this out. I gotta grab a tool, but when you twist this out, just have a rag. This isn't gonna be pouring out brake fluid, but you're just gonna loosen this up and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. And all you do is just replace this and squeeze it back in and make sure you don't double thread it when you go back in. So let me get this off. There it is. I just popped the cap off of there and I used a socket because it's the, the easiest way to get in here and actually undo it. This is a 13 16 So that's what I used to get it off. And this is what it looks like once you take it out. And there's your old spring. And another method that I forgot to say in the beginning of the video, there are some people that actually um, use the original spring and do an even cheaper method. And all they do is they put washers. So they'll put a few washers in there to increase the pressure that this does. But uh, I've already got another spring, so I'm gonna pop that in. All you have to do is take the old one out, put the new one in. And uh, the only problem people have takes a little bit of time is putting this back in can sometimes be a pain in the butt because the new spring is a whole lot stiffer than the old one so you have to make sure when you put this in you're threading it correctly and you don't double thread it so you ruin this and have to get a new one so here's the new spring I just uh, seated it right there in the middle um, this one's nice and snug the other one was loose on there but you know easier for me to put this thing back in. I don't have to worry about that being on there, right? Because it's already on there. So, slide that in. And right there is when the tension is, so I'm gonna have to push it in and actually get the thread started without, like I said, double threading it. So, that's pretty much it. Once you get that in, uh, you definitely have to get uh, your brakes bled. Um, I have videos on how to do that when I did my front and rear brakes so if you don't know how to do that without going to the shop I do have that and if not then drive down to the shop and actually see the full effect because you won't actually feel it until you get those brakes bled obviously since you're not getting the right pressure so I uh, hope this helped you guys out I'll go ahead and put the link for everything in the description below like I do for all my videos and uh, have fun